Last week we talked about object.assign and how you can use it to mash together objects or generate new ones. I left off by mentioning that there were a couple of gotchas to worry about and we're going to cover those this week. First, let's establish a base object, same as before. We've got it here. There's two things to pay attention to. The first is that object.assign only works with enumerable properties on an object, which are properties that will be evaluated when, for example, you loop over the object. This means stuff from the prototype chain gets ignored, as does any property you expressly mark as not enumerable. Want to know more about the prototype chain and enumerable properties? Let me know. So for example, all objects automatically inherit a hasown property method that returns true or false when you use it to see if an object has a non-prototype property name. Watch. When we save that and refresh, we get true. But has own property is part of the prototype chain, which means it's not enumerable, which means when we evaluate an object with object.assign, it doesn't pay attention to that property, which means we can overwrite it like this. Save that and we'll see it log out our text. So you see, even though souls game is the last parameter and thus should have the last word, its own has own property function is not overwriting the one we defined in our object because it's being ignored because it's not enumerable. Note, it is almost always an immensely bad idea to overwrite prototype properties and I don't recommend doing it. This is just an example. The other thing you have to be careful about is deep merging. Quite simply, object.assign doesn't support it. Neither does an alternative method we're about to talk about. Here's an example. When we log this, it should be fine. We get our complete object, info, speculative, true. Everything looks great. However, when we log this, it's going to show speculative true, but it's not going to show actually happening true. Watch. Info, speculative, true, actually happening, not there. A deep merge would add both properties, speculative and actually happening, to the info object. But since this is only a shallow merge, it'll just overwrite the info object entirely. Also, of course, our name property got overwritten, but that's expected behavior. In addition to not doing deep merges, object assign also only makes references to nested objects rather than truly cloning them. This can be quite problematic. Watch. When we log soul's hit points, it should give us exactly what we're expecting, a merged object. And there we go. Rats, regular 200, giant 650, skeletons 400, large 800. But watch what happens when we change this value. Save this. Relog. Still performing as expected. We get 400 first, then 450 after. However, When we log our original scale hit points object, which we have not changed, we see that the regular skeleton's hit points have actually changed. This is a problem. We changed the value of skeleton.regular on soul's hit points, but it also changed in scale hit points. That's because deep objects are referenced rather than cloned using object.assign. If you want to do a full deep cloning, you'll need to write your own functionality to do that or use a third-party library. Right now, there's no built-in solution. Finally, I wanted to mention something reader Adam M pointed out. You can also use the spread operator to combine objects, much like we've done with arrays. Here's an example. Note that I'm getting an ESLint error because I don't have proper definitions installed for spread operators. My bad. Here's what we get. The complete object, same as if we'd used object.assign. This is, well, it's better than object.assign, right? More concise and more readable. And it does the same thing. So why not use it? The only answer is, 
I want to support a wider range of browsers without transpiling. Object.assign is an ES2015 feature, but the spread operator for objects didn't show up until ES2018. So if you're only supporting modern browsers, or using a transpiler like Babel, then by all means, go with the spread operator. See you next week.